and to give you guys confidence that this industry isn't going anywhere. This Bruh, is, been doing the business for years. How many years, Dre? 16 plus years been getting paid for. I, this was for one job? One job. I, I see quantity slash hours one. My top student, he had a $30,000 month two months ago with minimal ads. What's up, us? This is your boy JT Automations back in with another masterclass. I told you guys we're doing it different now. So these are not just YouTube videos. These are masterclasses where I'm going to bring a subject matter expert into the room that's going to break down the sauce for you. I'm here with my brother, Mr. Andre Hatchet, and he is the subject matter expert here on this channel for all things in the notary business. A lot of people think that as a notary, you can only make $5 a stamp. You can't make a living doing it. Hold on, wait. I'm going to get you back to today's action, but I have a secret that I want to share with you. Do you know above all else when they did the research, the number one reason why the rich continue to get richer is due to real estate ownership. However, many of us believe that we have to have good credit, a lot of money, or else we got to start cold calling strangers and get into wholesaling. What if I told you that you can buy real estate cash for $1,000 or less or get paid just for trying, even if you're unsuccessful? Well, there's a book that I have out. You see a picture of it now on the screen and it's linked down in the description below. So if you want to know how to buy real estate cash with $1,000 or less or get paid just for trying, I link that down in the description below for your convenience. But now back to today's action. Those of you that came to the Foundations of Wealth Conference heard this guy rock the stage, all right? But for the benefit of those of you all that missed it, we're gonna cover some big things out there that I think for those of you that are notaries is gonna change your life for the rest of your life. First and foremost, thank you for coming on the show, brother. Thanks for having me again. I'm a regular now. Absolutely, I'm bro. You family, bro. Cousin yeah. Dre. Cousin right, Dre. Yeah, Cousin Dre. Yeah, your favorite country, Cousin JT and Cousin Dre. <laughs> All right. Let, let's uh let's get straight into it. Let's so do it. I want to start off with 20X and somebody out there's business. So if you're somebody out there that mm -hmm. says that you can only do five dollars uh, a stamp, um, let's get them to a hundred that are 20 extra business on the low end. How can I get or how can any notary, I'm not a notary, but how can a notary get their first hundred dollar customer? Let's talk about it. They can tell the people that they are mobile or and or traveling notaries who will travel to your client's location for a premium fee. All right, maybe not in those words, but but you tell mm -hmm. them who you are. You're a mobile <laughs> notary. You're a notary <laughs> entrepreneur. You travel yeah. to people's homes, handle their business, notarize their documents, and you get paid. Yeah. So with the whole fee thing, people have a limited belief and, and, and a lot just are knowledgeable on the industry, which is fine. But we get paid to go to you. Mm -hmm. We get paid to go to our clients. And here's the thing, they happily pay. And people will really pay you to come to them in I, real I, life. I saw the comments. Yeah, it, 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 they pay. Now there are two states. Uh, I think one of them is Maryland, and I forget the other one that has a per mileage travel fee where you're capped off per mileage okay. for certain notarizations. But even in those states, you can still do fingerprinting, apostille services, and loan closing, and make the hundred dollars, five hundred bucks, four hundred bucks per appointment. So there are no limits. But depending on your state, you might have to switch around the services you offer to get top dollar. Now, when it comes to this, do you spend like like crazy money in advertising because another uh, belief or just what I'm hearing from you guys, mm -hmm. I'm here to ask all the questions that I think can help you all. That so somebody I mean. was like, man, you know, I don't have $10,000 a month to run Google ads or Facebook ads so to much. get leads for my notary business. So. All right. Do you got to have a bag to get those kind of clients? No, you, you don't have okay. to have thousand dollars a month. Um, startup costs on a bare bones budget is five hundred dollars, five hundred bucks. If you if you really want to get things right, a thousand to two thousand dollars is more ideal to get the ball rolling. My top student, he had a thirty thousand dollar month two months ago with minimal ads. As a notary, thirty thousand dollars, yeah, thirty thousand dollars a month, you guys. And we are intentionally repetitive about this because I want you guys to change your paradigm, change your mindset about money. Because mm -hmm. some of you all out there, you're already notaries but you're not really making any money off of it. You might do it here and there. Other people watching this may be thinking about becoming notaries, but don't know that you can make real money doing it. So to tackle that first limiting belief, let people know you are a mobile notary that will come to them for a premium charge, right? That's it. Provide a premium service. And believe it or not, people will pay for convenience. Happily. All right. If you don't believe that, next time you're out and about, look at the drive through lines at all of those restaurants. Do you think those people don't know how to cook? Like, a lot of those people know how to cook, but they rather pay 
a premium, right? So that way they don't have to spend their time and energy, you know, over the stove. So uh, similar to being a notary, right? Mm -hmm. You get paid for convenience and for your expertise as a notary. Because believe it or not, not everybody can become a notary. All right. So I wanted to tackle that belief as well. Okay. Um, give give us one one marketing tip somebody can do if you if you was strapped for cash mm -hmm. all right what would you do there's a website called snapdocs snapdocs uh, a lot of mortgage companies go there to find and hire their notaries after your license go to snapdocs create a profile they don't pay the most because snapdocs does take a fee but it's a great way to get repeat business and consistent business mm -hmm. and you could probably get business from after you sign up you could probably get calls within the first week or two oh crazy snapdocs.com right. so hey and my editor put it on the screen right uh, now let's get into some receipts Because what I appreciate about my brother Dre Is, is Dre going to come with receipts He going to back it up I'm going to have my editor show it on the screen Just because it might be a little bit hard to read mm -hmm. If I just try to hold each paper up So yep. those are going to be inserted As we talk about them And um, we're just going to go through a few of them mm -hmm. So what, what am I looking at Dre What are these right here Tell the people These are paid invoices Alright and they're paid invoices over a decade plus. Why is this important? Because the internet has become a crowded place. There are a lot of ethical people, mostly ethical people, mm -hmm. but there are some people who take a course, then teach a course like they're an expert on the course. <laughs> and I just wanna show you guys the time frame in which I have been making money in this business and to give you guys confidence that this industry isn't going anywhere. This is a needs-based, service-based business that has been around for years and you can get paid for years so right. instead of asking me how soon how soon can you get paid which is a fair question ask me how long can you get paid or how long Thanks. have i been getting paid for so I, i'm seeing may what's 20, that date may 24th 2011 all right we're gonna cut out personal information so you guys are not gonna see that and this is 125 dollars this was for one job one job i, I see quantity slash hours one yep it probably took 10 minutes or less. All right? <laughs> yeah. Done. Okay, what's next? All right. Um, I see 2018. 2018. Um, July 30th, 2018. This is $250. Okay. All right, let's keep it going. All right. This one here was okay. from a job that I subcontracted. How much did I pay the notary who did that job? 50, that's what you paid them. That's not what you made. I paid them how much? $50. Okay, so let's this just was, say. And this was July the 9th, 2022. Longevity. Yeah. NFT, where NFTs at? Oh, they in the dump right okay. now. Okay, <laughs> all right, just think about that. So let's yeah. say that I charged the client 125 mm. and I paid the notary 50. 50. How much would I make on that job? $75. Hello. Yep. Times that by five. Yep. So I'm like, man, I'm seeing 2021. Bro, been doing the business for years. How many years, Dre? 16 plus years been getting paid for. Friends. All right. 16. So we're seeing all the way back. I'm seeing receipts all the way to this year uh, making money. I'm going to just call out some more. $200. Mm -hmm. $225. Got another $225. Got a $300. Um, we, we, I'm going to put this to the side because cause I don't know what this word means. Dre going to have to break it down. <laughs> and I'm seeing another $200, right? Um. Okay, I see Scarsdale notarization. It's, what does uh, that mean? That's a city in New York. Oh, okay. City that in New York. So, did I, you have to go to New York to do that? I I didn't do this job myself, even though I am licensed in New York as well. Mm -hmm. I had a notary there do it for. I believe I paid them one fifty. So I made one fifty from Georgia. He went there. He made one fifty. Done. Okay, we got to get into that now, right? But I did want to insert these receipts because a lot of people will come and they'll say, hey, I make a trillion dollars a day and you guys should listen to me and buy everything and whatever, whatever. But your boy brought invoices, right? He bought legit invoices, paid invoices. Over a decade old invoices. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and new invoices. And yep. I'm still licensed, baby. I'm in this thing. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong. You can have a nationwide notary business without being licensed in all 50 states. Yeah. Okay. You can have one without being licensed at all. So I can have no notary license and I can have a nationwide notary business. Yeah. That's that's blowing my mind. Okay. You got to break that down. Can you own a uh, Walmart without making cereal? Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Let me stop you for a second. Listen. You see this sign back there that says Lowe's. Okay. That says Lowe's. 2015. I work right there at Lowe's making $10.35 an hour, okay? I'm stopping this video because I want you guys to understand something. You can get away from that, all right? 
You don't have to make two thirty of an hour. You don't have to just slave from job to job to job to job to job, hours to hours to hours. Listen, I have a five day mastermind coming up, December the fourth through December the eighth. In this mastermind, I'm going to show you how to make additional income trading stock options while still working your full time job. Now I know that may sound crazy, but listen, you can actually make money while you're currently working your full time job. Because what I always tell people is this. You don't want to just quit your full-time job. You want your full-time job to be your business partner, like Storm Lee always says, okay? So December the 4th through December the 8th, I want you guys to join me for my five-day mastermind. The link is in the description box below. If you want to learn how to trade stock options, learn how to make an additional $2,000 to $10,000 a month trading stock options while still working your full-time job, click the link below in the description box, and I'm going to take you on this journey in the next five-day mastermind, December 4th to December 8th. All praise to the Most High. Yeah. Can you uh, own a Walmart without making guns yourself? Yeah. Same thing. So I now have a nationwide signing agency. I have for a while now. So most of the job, I'm doing anymore myself, right? So so I middleman the job. So a client pays me 125 I pay the notary 50 bucks, 75 bucks. I want you guys to times these numbers by five because five clients a day throughout the whole country is very, very doable. Very, very doable. So, so, so let's say that we're at $75 profit times five. How much is that? Um, We're going to say we're going to go on 375 All right, so 375 times seven because we're open every day of the week. Okay, 2100 a little over $2,000. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to go to my handy-dandy calculator. Y'all okay. know I got a South Carolina education. That's cool. Uh, uh, hey, here goes simple math. 75 here. times five. 375 times 7, we at $2,625. Okay, times that by 4. All right, times 4, we at $10,500. Perfect number. All right, now we're at $200 on this invoice. So $200 client pays me, I pay the notary $100. We do five of those jobs a day. We're at $3,500 for the week. Times that by four, we're at 14 grand for the month without you having to do the job yourself with five jobs a day. I'm not going crazy with the jobs. So, all throughout the country. Oh, man. I'm you can't, can't get count five them. clients? Yeah. So, I'm just showing you guys the range with this business. Now, being self employed is dope, right? But I was just in, in the Bahamas, Nassau, Bahamas, mm -hmm. with a lovely lady, right? Yeah. It was very cool to be there and be able to make money while I'm there without having to go somewhere to make the money. Yeah. So going forward in 2024, I'm showing more people how to build agencies instead of just being self-employed. How, how long were you in the Bahamas? Uh, Friday to Monday. So so uh, four days. Four days. Yeah. All right, how much money, roughly, if you can remember, you made while on vacation? You got two grand. Two grand. Two grand. All right, while you're on vacation, and this is not money he made, like working a job with the PTO <laughs> pay time off. Like, this is a business running yeah. while you out, you know, with your significant other or out by yourself, out with your kids, whoever you want to take. Mm -hmm. And Bahamas is nice. Fly. You yeah. got to go. All-inclusive yeah. to it. Only way to do it. Got to do all-inclusive. Yeah. yeah. So, you guys, uh, your mindset, man. I say it all the time, but I, but it's worth noting again, making money is all mental. A lot of people's mm -hmm. mindset is that I believe that I can only charge this much money based off of what somebody else said, what they heard, what they understood, because you and Dre can see the same opportunity, but without having that proper mentorship, without having that proper mindset, you may see a limitation where he sees yeah. an opportunity. Um, This is a question that I never asked you before. Man, mm -hmm. you guys know this, none of this is rehearsed. This this is just me talking to my brother. Off top. If somebody was in a different state than you or a state that you're not licensed in, we're in Georgia, by the way, or even if they're in Georgia, like yep. let's just cover everywhere. If somebody is a notary and they want to get in your wheelhouse to do deals for you, like how you say, hey, you gave this notary $50, mm -hmm. you gave this notary $100, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want these guys to have no excuses. Are you accepting new notaries to do work for you? If you have jobs in that area? First div goes to people who go through our program. Because, okay. because I know what you know what you're doing if you go through the program. Yes, okay. but yes, we do far work out the notaries in our program all the time. Hey, you guys. And and I respect that, right? So you got to respect the man with standards. So, mm -hmm. hey, if you went through his program, that way he knows that you know what you're doing. You're yeah. not going to get yourself in trouble. You're not going to make him look bad. Because th he has a real business, right? Like, hey, I love social media. Social media is great. But outside of social media, 
media where the rubber meets the road, he goes out, he has a brand, he has a nationwide business, and you got to preserve that. You got to preserve that brand, that equity, and all of that good stuff as well. So first dibs, go to those people. What's the best way to reach out to you on social media? And we're not done yet. We're we going to actually get into being a practitioner <laughs> after this, right? So yeah. tell the people real quick how to connect with you. Uh, all social media, Andre C. Hatchet, Andre C. Hatchet on social media. And uh, JT will have a link below on how to sign up for some upcoming um, workshops we have coming up. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so uh, what I want to get into in this segment of the masterclass, mm -hmm. so follow along, just to recap, right? We started off by 20X in your business. If you were doing $5 a, a stamp, Right, we kicked this off talking about how you can get your first hundred dollar customer 20x your business just off of that information alone. Right, then we showed the social proof, we got the invoices there. So, you know, this ain't somebody talking out the side of the neck, this is somebody that's actually making money. Then we got into whether you are a notary or not, you can have a nationwide business as well <laughs> where you market, you get the customers coming in, gave them the snap docs play. Right? Can can we outsource the snap docs play, or we got to do those ourselves? You can outsource the snap docs Ooh. play, but they don't pay that much, so it might not be the best way to go about it. Okay. But, but there's no shortage of documents or assignments you can outsource. Okay. So don't think, okay, well that doesn't work. No, with people in our community, they say the hardest part is finding a notary to subcontract to, not the work. Right. The work is here, all over the place. And and this is. More than five dollar work, right? If you're a notary, if you're no a notary, <laughs> share this video with them. We gotta keep saying it we because got. no matter how many times we say it, people still are gonna just like in my state. Mm -hmm. I read this. I'm asking somebody more context that. on that. Go so, ahead. So with the five dollar thing, that comes from, and, and, and it might be two dollars, five or fifteen, depending on the state. That comes from per signature or per stamp, per notarization. So there is a limit to what you could charge per document. But again, with the travel fee, only in two states do they limit what you can charge per mile. Charge. So, so we could charge two hundred dollars travel fee, then five dollars per document, depending on the state, or two dollars per document, depending on the state. But that's what you guys need to get used to: is charging the upfront travel fee. That's what's missing with a lot of people, and, and they mean well, most of them, but they just don't know. And people who don't know are very, very loud. So you see that <laughs> video, or you know, it's always a cousin. My cousin said that banks have notaries, yada yada yada. Fed the banks aren't your competition. People need you or want you to come to their house mm -hmm. and handle their business. Now, just because your aunt wouldn't do it doesn't mean that ten other thousands of people won't do it, mm -hmm. right? I. Use I use Instacart. I use a Grubhub and DoorDash. One of my brothers, he came to my house, tell me you always order your food or you don't go out. I was like, well, if I'm not going to sit down there, I'm going to order because I don't want to waste an hour driving to the freaking restaurant to get the food. Mm -hmm. I'd rather tip the driver five bucks, ten bucks for them to bring me my food. It, I'm a luxury guy. This is a luxury business. And there are no shortage of buyers, right? None. <laughs> There's a shortage of mindsets, but there are no shortage of buyers, right? Come on now. I'm one of those buyers. Dre's one of those buyers. Even if you're watching this right now and you don't know where your next meal is going to come from, you don't even know, you know, if you're going to be able to pay your cell phone bill, you're watching this on the phone and... Whatever the case may be, we've all had struggles yeah. at various levels at different points in our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of times, unfortunately, being in that physical predicament, people allow that to poison their mentality. Okay. And now, just because you say, I wouldn't pay $100 to get a document notarized, Bingo. right? Or I don't know nobody. All right. What I will tell you is this, is that when I was broke, I could I knew broke people. Just like smokers, no smokers, drinkers, no, no drinkers. drinkers. Yeah. yeah, broke people, no broke people, yeah. right? High level achievers, no other high level achievers, right? So if you've noticed on the internet, you might watch channels similar to this, and it's like, how do they always have another person that makes six or seven figures? But there then you, you think about it and they're like, don't none of my friends make six or seven figures? Mm -hmm. Don't none of my family make six or seven figures? Mm -hmm. But JT and other people can do episode after episode, and this person makes six figures, this person makes seven figures. And really the, the under the undeveloped mind will be like, well, they must be lying. <laughs> nah. <laughs> like broke people know broke people, and this is not a shot, this is not being disrespectful. It's real uh, life. middle class people know middle class people, right? Mm -hmm. And high level people know high level people. So whatever uh space you're in, right? Whether you're uh broke, middle class, or you know, high class. 
those people tend to know other people. So what you can do to level up is one, escape that mindset that just because you're in a temporary financial situation, mm -hmm. you choose if it's permanent or not. So you can expose yourself to different environments, do the work, and Dre is somebody that teaches you how to do the work. Uh, so there is money in this. Now, mm -hmm. let's actually do a real deal here live, all right? Mm -hmm. um, you guys know I'm a real estate investor. I'm also a private money lender. Uh, we do a lot of other business outside of media because, like I said, I'm a practitioner. But me and Dre gonna both be practitioners right here, right now, right? Um, this is a this is a trust document, all right. So these are some trust documents here. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm let Dre look at them, okay. and then whatever price Dre say, that's what we gonna pay him live in this in this video. I don't know what <laughs> what all you need to see, so I'm spreading them out. All right, all right. cool, cool, cool. We, we, front and back. We go back to the first document. Okay. All right, all right, sir. Um, I need to see your ID. All right. Okay. Boom. All right, valid ID. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, we're gonna have you print your name here. All right, talk to people through what you're thinking as you do this, Dre, so they know what we're doing. Um, what am I thinking? That yeah. I'm going to be getting paid a lot of money by the time I'm, I'm done with this assignment. <laughs> All, right. All right. So once you get used to the, it, it's, it's cool. All right. We are there to come here to our client's location, witness that they are who they say they are, watch them sign. We sign, we stamp, call it a day. All right. All right. Dre, is this the first time you got called to do an interview and got paid for it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to sign there, sir. Uh, print or sign? Just you can sign. sign there. All right. All right. You guys are seeing me in real time okay. establish the legitimacy of my trust, Ooh. right? So the attorney made these paperwork. Mm -hmm. All right. I bring them here. I live. This is something else that I want to highlight as Bingo. we're doing it. So I live in North Carolina. This trust is going to be valid in North Carolina, mm -hmm. where the properties are and all of the, the blah, blah, blah that we're doing. But I'm in Georgia. Right now. And yeah. you're not licensed in North Carolina. I am not. You're licensed in Georgia. I am. But this trust will, like, this will still be legal. How is that possible? Because we are physically signing in a state where I am licensed. Okay. Th that's it. All right. We in Atlanta right now, you guys. So, hey, so that's a nugget, too. All, all right. right. You're going to sign here with this. Okay. Talk to the people, Dre. So I so I'm so so a witness and a signature. And again, the, the my main thing, what I'm here to do is to act as an impartial witness on behalf of the state. So I'm not involved in any way to this document. No. I am hired, air quotes, by the state to make sure that he is who he says he is and he signs what he's supposed to sign and keep it pushing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same thing here, sir, with that information. All right. All right. All right, this one is done. This is page six, page three, four, nothing here. All, All right. right, question, just just so you guys know, because we're doing real business and we talking through it. Do mm -hmm. you have to understand all of the lawyer jargon to notarize a document? No, because I'm not involved in the document. Um, some people are getting divorced. I'm not there to be their marriage counselor. Some people <laughs> are getting a prenup. I'm not there to advise them on the prenup. I am there to witness their signature as an impartial witness on behalf of the state. All right. Hey, you guys, uh, hold on, hold on. Before you start, this is what I want you guys to do, right? This is what they taught us in the South. Y'all might know a, a fancier way to do it, right? We're going to count the seconds it take for him to notarize this page, right? The way they taught us was one Mississippi, two Mississippi. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it in real time, all right? Okay, cool. We're going to start now. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Eight to my editor. Put it on the screen. Five Mississippi. They because y'all ain't gonna want to hear me count the whole time. But counter on the on the screen right now is gonna keep going. Print your name here for me. All right. Mm -hmm. Keep the counter going. Shout out to my editor. Shout out to the editor. Shout out to everyone watching here. Real time notarization. And, and once you guys do it a few times, you'll get comfortable. All right. Today we are on the date is the. It's December 21st. 21st. Mm -hmm. It's 
still in the two, three. Mm -hmm. 12, 21. I'm signing here. I am stamping. It says seal. Some states require a clamp. It's so where you clamp. Most times it's just a regular old fashioned stamp. I'm stamping here. Bingo. All right. All right. One more thing out there. My commission expires. One. Okay. I still got some time. Yep. All yep. Right. Hey, keep the counter running. We're going to see. All right. And you That's guys know because you're watching this video, like when we're doing it live, I don't even know how long it's going to take. <laughs> All right. All right. And the reason why we're doing this is I want you to compare the amount of money that he's making in this amount of time with the amount of money that you're going to make uh, or how long would it take you to make the same amount of money doing it? I want you to print here. All right. Um, right here? Right at the top line, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You are the... Owner. Owner. All right. Okay. All right. And it is still the 23rd, right? Oh, no, 21st. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we ain't moving that slow. We <laughs> All right. I'm signing here. I'm stamping here. I'm All writing right. in my expiration date here. All right. All right. One more. Okay. Same thing, sir. You're going to print your name there, then put owner there. Signing 12 21 2 0 2 3. I am sorry. Right, question, question I have for you as we doing these docs. Uh huh. If you were to make a mistake, like write the wrong date, mm -hmm. um, how, how could you correct that or would you have to redo all the documents? Uh, it can be corrected. Sometimes we're allowed to come back to the client. We would. Uh, cross it out, initial it, and write the correct date. Mm -hmm. uh, but, 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 but if that's to be done over, we can do it over to it. It's not that big a deal. And you won't go to jail. That's the point, too. People <laughs> think, yo, if I mess up with your family, you don't go to jail, apologize, and just do it over. It's not the end of the world if you make a mistake. Now, you don't want to make a mistake, yeah. but you just do it over and apologize. That's it. Yeah. All right. We're done. Um, think, what about that back there? That is your bank account information. Oh, yeah. I'll fill that out. All I don't right. got that memorized. All right, I got right. it. You can fill that out off camera. Yep, yep. Um, so, All so right, here's so that's I, time. That, that is time. Here's go what ahead and stop well. the timer. Go ahead. Don't. Timer, stop. Um, I always go through it because, hey, look, never be too, ne be cool, be calm, be confident, but don't be overly confident because you might miss something. So I go through it from, from top. Page one, page two, done. Yep. And I, and I put it back in order, too, because we are out of order. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So this is done. Three, four. All right. Yep. Nope. So here we have it. Five, six. Done. What about that one? Seven, eight. Done. Here goes another one. See? That's why we go through it. One more, JT. All right. Um, well, you are signed there. Oh, just sign? Yep, bingo. Howard has it there. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay, you're going to put today's date there. All right. 1221. If I this the 21st. 21st day of December. 21st day of December. 2023. 
D uh, you know I know I don't you know I don't know how to spell December. D E C E M B E R. Alright. So you could be a millionaire and not know how to spell. Mm-hmm. Alright. And so, own fifty houses too. Uh, hey, from your lips to God's ears. <laughs> that's what the old people say. From your lips to God's ears. Alright, let me see this for mm. All right, state. Uh, county of the K. Hey, if you guys are getting value out of this master class, again, we're doing all of this live, even though we could have did it off camera, because I want you all to see. Um, and also, just so you guys know, my mindset as well. Go ahead. You're going to print your name there. All Bye. right. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I want you guys to understand is this. My mindset as to why would I want a, 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 a mobile notary, right, one for convenience, but why out of everybody that is possibly a notary in the state of Georgia that would come here and take my money to notarize a document, right, I like his brand, right? Like, Dre has been a part of this YouTube channel since the early stages, but consistently, right, every time I see Dre, Dre is showing up, he's a professional, right, he, he has good energy, Appreciate he, he ain't never caught up in a scandal, like none of that <laughs> stuff, and it's funny, but I mean, but I want you all to know the importance of your reputation, so mm -hmm. you just being of good character and just being consistent. So I would say if I had to, to sum it up in like two words, it's just his character and his consistency is why that. instead of me going to Google and saying mobile notary or out of everybody else that's on Google, have a website, on Instagram, right, character and consistency is what will go further. So just remember that, right? I know some of you all are like, I'm grown. If I want to, you know, be twerking on the internet, I can. <laughs> Listen, on a private page, but on a professional level, let's keep it professional. Bingo. All right. All right, here. Um, print your name there. Then put on. All right. Consistency wins. Consistency is the great equalizer. People like to be lit. They'd rather be lit than have money. Stay consistent in whatever field, in, in majority of the fields out there, and you will make money. All right. P people get bored and they quit. And that was a nugget he gave at the end, too, because if we would have just, like, okay, cool, we're done, and he would have left, like, I'm going to tell him after, after I pay him how much money I got to go pick up with these documents. Because it might impact the price. It's a nugget for those of us that are not notaries that need notaries. <laughs> All right, now, sir, we hey. are done. All right, what's what's the retail price for this? I like I believe that we support our. Me own. not knowing you. Yeah, I would charge one seventy five to two fifty for this. That's what I want to pay. Okay. Because I believe that how we support one another is not by you know a like this man got a business to run. Like, we talk offline about all of those things uh, that he wants to do outside of this. But even if I didn't know him personally, like, this guy has a life. He has a business. He has business expenses, right, that I don't know about and honestly are not really my business, all right? Mm. So, um, tell the people what app you have on your phone to be able to take payments. Like, we giving all the gems. I have Square. I have Stripe. I have PayPal here. I have whatever I need to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, a, that's another thing. Don't have just one app either. Yeah. Cause, cause, uh, Matter of fact, let's use, I get more points on that one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Things happen in life. Don't yeah. have just one. Have a few. I got Cash App. Yeah. I got everything, baby. And what I'm going to have him do after the payment goes through is uh, we're going to put that screenshot up here too. So mm -hmm. you guys know it ain't no camera tricks. It ain't no... <laughs> Bro really, real bro, really charge him five dollars and say he charged him something else. Nah, like that. That's another thing too. So we emphasize, um, this is a premium service. It's a premium value. So seek out clients. Like mm -hmm. what you know, Dre knows because me and him have a professional relationship outside of this. But even if he if we didn't have one, right? The mm -hmm. thing would be okay. I'm here. I'm in Georgia. I'm conducting business here. The business that I'm going to conduct 
is worth, you know what I mean? Ain't no telling. There's really no limit on it, there but it's go. worth more to me than the, what is that, 175 I'm looking at? Mm -hmm. So the business that I'm doing, the business I did yesterday, right, is worth more than 175. All right? So me going to him or me going to the post office or me going somewhere else and spending less wouldn't actually save me money. There it would go. cost me money, but that's the kind of buyer that I am. A lot of you all are targeting people that they ain't doing nothing. So it's like, okay, why would I pay you $100? I could go spend half a day at the post office and um, um, put in my zip code. Yes, I put in my zip code. That, that's the thing to it. In our industry, clients either don't want to pay us or, or are eager to pay us. There's not much in between. Either they say, well, that, that's, that's a lot of money. Okay, cool. That's not your client. <laughs> but... <laughs> Out of 10 mm -hmm. clients, you're going to get two to four who are happy to pay you. Yeah. 20 to 40 percent, which is pretty good odds. Yeah. So definitely, like we told you guys about the box, right? Get out of the box. Out the box. Escape the box. Get around right? people with money. It will change around your, the whole, your, your whole way of life. Yeah. Right. When you geofencing, which I mean, you know, you guys look it up, right? <laughs> or however you're doing your marketing. <laughs> Look at look in the areas where where the houses cost a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I might have put in the wrong zip code too. It could have been that. Yeah, let, let me let me try it again. I need to put it in again. It might not because we did the tap thing. Email you the receipt. All right. So, so what I'm doing now is, I, is I'm emailing JT the receipt. So so he he has copied for his records. And again, we're acting like we're not friends here. But if, if there's a mistake, I guarantee that I will fix it within 40, 48 hours or less with no cost to the customer. Okay. Done. All right. 175. We can show this to the editor. Yeah. yeah. Take, 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 yeah. Editor. Oh, yeah. 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 We're going to do it right now. So you guys are going to see it on the screen. Boom. $175. All right. Now imagine you. What was the whole thing to take? What, 20 minutes? It happened because we were talking? Yeah. Now, imagine you getting the client to pay you 175 but you not even having to do the job yourself. You making 75 from Nassau, Bahamas, from Oakland, California, yep. from a small town in uh, North Carolina. Yeah, the, frog legs. <laughs> the money's out there, baby. Yeah. Thank you, JT, like, for the Because I, I, appreciate my, I appreciate my brother, but to be honest, I want the documents done. So if he would have said, hey, bro, I'm in the Bahamas, but I got somebody that I trust, he'll come over there. Like, I would have been cool with it. So as promised, um, I'm waiting on like $115,000 that I have to... 30,000 of it is like I could go pick up as soon as I go to the attorney's office and show them my notarized trust documents. Mm. All right, so I had trust documents, but I needed to get them notarized and I move around a lot. So mm -hmm. I spent $175 to be able to go recoup some of that money, but I'm turning a profit as well. So like I'm making money off of this transaction. And I wanted to end this video by letting you guys know that because maybe sometimes people are getting stuff notarized that while it's valuable, what is the value to that person, mm. right? So to somebody else, these papers is just papers. Like uh, to somebody else, it's like, okay, I need to get this done, but um, it ain't no rush. It ain't no urgency. Like it's $115,000 yeah, okay. on the other side of these papers. Uh -huh. I want this. I might not even go home when I leave Georgia. <laughs> I might go straight to the attorney and then go home. Bingo. Like in 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 yeah, like Collect all of that, that money, baby. Collect yeah. that money. All right. So uh and again, we we talk about real estate here on this channel and there's going to be a real estate masterclass coming out here real soon, but what's most important now is tell the people how they can learn from you because the mistake that a lot of you all are going to make is you're not going to get a mentor. So what a mentor does, because there's a stereotype that I want to change about mentors. People mm. think that a mentor is is a, a fast talking person on the internet, takes all of your money, gives you a bunch of fluff, and then now you broke and full of misinformation. Mm. A true mentor, they help you reach your goals faster than you can reach them on your own. They help you avoid problems or work through those problems that are inevitable faster then you can do it on your own. And overall, the, the value of a mentor True. is, regardless of the price, 10x. All right, on the low end, 10x, Big right? So imagine if, if I say, okay, like we're in Georgia, and let's say to go across Georgia, I could give you an airplane ticket, 
or I can give you a bicycle. Mm -hmm. Right. You trying to figure it out on your own. Can you go across Georgia in a bicycle? Probably if you mm -hmm. really wanted to. All right. Is that the most efficient way to get across Georgia? No. Sure. Right. So I want you to start thinking about mentors as airplanes and doing it yourself. Right. Not saying that you're incompetent. But what you mm -hmm. don't know, you don't know. So you're going to move slower. You're going to be scared. You're going to like, is this the right decision or not? You're going to make a lot of mistakes because you're figuring it out. So you're going to move slower. You're going to be on that bicycle instead of moving forward and getting on that airplane, right? So mm -hmm. how can they connect with the mentor that will show them, here's, hey, here's my blueprint. And do they get access to you as well when they run into problems? If they sign up for our five-day workshop, we do. Yep. So January 1st through 5th, we're having a live, live online five-day workshop. Where not we're going, pre-recorded video. Not pre-recorded video, but okay. I am giving you access to our archive uh, sessions as well. But it's live, five days mm -hmm. with us, 1st through the 5th. January 1st through the 5th, we're going to show you how to build a nationwide signing agency from the ground up. And we have a bonus if you guys want to double up. We have a six-week paid ment. We have a six-week paid mentorship that starts after we have the five-day challenge. Because some people, JT, they're excited, they're pumped up, but 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 after they leave the live class, they just don't follow through. So this is to make sure you follow through. So all the links are below. Um, if you sign up with JT's link, you will save a few bucks. So the first through the fifth, baby, January is game time. If you're intrigued by what we're talking about today, I'm going to give you everything I got. And what I'm going to also do for the viewer that may be watching this after the fact, because the algorithm does what it does, or just for whatever reason, mm -hmm. you came across this information, I will make sure that that link that's underneath this video is up to date. So if you're watching it in June and his next one is in a week or so, <laughs> that link that's underneath this video will be updated, and that will be the best way to connect with them, whether you're watching this in December, June, October, wherever, so that way you can get this game, right? I'm really big on evergreen value, evergreen content, so we're going to make sure that we give that to you. All right, last question I have for you, because I didn't know about the six weeks, mm -hmm. right? What can somebody expect after spending six weeks with you? A well-oiled machine. <laughs> so as much as people need the information, JC, they also need accountability, People need someone to hold their hand and to make sure that they did what they said that they would do. Mm -hmm. When you talk to, when you get five customers who say no, say no, thank you. You talk to your cousin who said, "Well, that ain't gonna work." Find something else. Or find something else to do. Mm -hmm. You come to me on Thursday. I'm saying, let's get back on the phone. Let's tweak your website. Let's go over your reviews. Have you got reviews? Did you ask clients for reviews? Let's see what we are not doing to get more business coming in. That one piece right there, that accountability piece, is as valuable as $20 million. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, D. Wade, Kobe Bryant all have or in or had personal trainers outside of the free team trainers that came with it. Why? Because they knew that they needed help to become elite. They needed some level of accountability to be at their best. I'm that guy for you. All right. Hey, there you have it, you guys. Hope you enjoy this masterclass. Take action. Don't let this be another YouTube video. This is a masterclass that you take action on. If you need more support, those links are down in the description below. Ask your questions in the comment section, but even better, ask somebody that does this every single day. Ask this from somebody that makes over six figures a year. Ask this from somebody that you just saw make $175 in whatever time it took to notarize these documents. I'm going to go pick up $115,000. Till next time, so I'm hustling, stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.